Hey guys, welcome back to this new load performance testing playlist. Now that we have completely set up our new load controller and the new load web, now we can see how to design a particular performance test case with your new load. So I have opened the new load GUI, which is also called the new load controller. Here you can design your performance test. So we are going to design our first performance test. And let's see how it can be done using the new load. So this is the starting point of uh, where you can start building or designing your test case. Uh, there is the user paths, like which acts as a project uh, for you, okay, while designing your test case. And then uh, we are going to use this JPET store website to design our performance test case. Okay, so it's very simple uh, website. And here uh, we are going to sign in, we are going to select some items, we are going to add to cart and then sign out. Okay, so that's our scenario. And then uh, we are going to design that using the new load performance testing tool, right? So uh, in the first step, you have to uh, start the recording from the user path, okay? Now I can give a particular name to this user path and uh, we, let's give it a name called demo one, okay? Now there is an option to record in, right? And there are a couple of uh, folders which all of these, uh, whenever you record, so all of these transactions can be uh, properly structured into different folders, okay? So here uh, there are three options. Uh, first is init, then there are actions, and then there is also end, which you cannot see it here, but we will see it during recording, okay? So this init and end are used uh, to store single transactions, right? So in it could be stored something like a prerequisite, like a signing into the application, and end could um, keep the transaction for uh, signing out of the application. Okay, so these are single transactions. And then the actions will actually contain all your main steps which you perform in the application, right? So all your uh, steps which are part of your test case. So that will be kept under actions. Okay, so we'll be starting off uh, with uh, the init folder right now. Okay, now here uh, you can record with different types of application. So there is web, there is SAP GUI, uh, there is Citrix, there is real browser. Okay, so here I'm, I've selected web and then in general uh, there is start client. It will automatically delete the cookies and clear the cache. And uh, you have an option to select different browser. Okay. So I'll be selecting Google Chrome, okay? And then um, I'll be clicking on okay. Now it will tell you to close all the instances of the browser, okay? So before that, you should keep uh, the URL of the application handy with you, okay? And then click on continue. So once you click on continue, you will see that um, a recording uh, control will be shown on the top, right? Uh, here you can pause the recording, you can stop it, uh, then you can also record your transactions in different folders, like init, actions, and end, okay? Um, also, you can provide a name to your transaction, okay? So whenever you are performing action, you have to store it in the form of a particular transaction name, okay? So that they are structured properly inside these folders, right? So now, uh, let's close this and let's enter the URL here, okay? And then um, I'm going to name this sign in transaction, okay? So I'm going to click on the sign in link here. So as soon as I uh, click on the sign in link, the username and password needs to be entered, okay? So these are already entered, so I will click on login. And that completes our first transaction, okay, which is stored in the init folder. Now going into actions, okay, so I will change uh, the folder to actions, okay, and I will name uh, some transaction here, right? So I will say uh, select uh, fish, okay, 
and then I will click on this item okay and the next transaction is to select product ID okay and then I'm going to select the first one here okay and then uh, we need to do add to cart so click on add to cart okay and then proceed to checkout so click on proceed to checkout and then uh, we need to enter the payment details here right so enter payment details and here i'll be clicking on continue and then finally i will confirm address okay and click on confirm and uh, that's that's what uh, we want to do in this whole test case okay now i am changing this to end and here i'm going to click on sign out so i will name it sign out so click on sign out okay so that's the end of all our transactions which we wanted to perform and then we'll go ahead and click on stop okay so new load will now uh, process all the transactions um, and then it will give you this post recording wizard okay so here you need to uh, select few things okay uh, here the first thing is the host selection so these are all the uh, servers which were um, basically hit during the all these transactions now it will show you all the um, servers which are basically um, all the requests which are going to these servers from your computer so you don't need to select all of them right so you need to select uh, first do and unselect all and then select the particular server which is connected to your website right so for me it is jpetstore.aspactran.com uh, right and then uh, click on next here uh, you need to select the dynamic parameters or you can search for it uh, i don't want to do this right now so i will do skip this step okay and then um, here you can also overwrite think times now we haven't discussed think times what it is uh, but uh, it is the time to wait before playing a web page right so it simulates the um, time spent by a real user okay uh, we will use the recorded think times uh, we will not overwrite it so click on next and then uh, click on finish to finish the post recording steps okay uh, so once you do that you will see under user paths uh, there is another user path created called demo one okay uh, and inside this now we have got um, all the different transactions which we have performed okay so you can see here uh, it is in the form of different folders and it is structured properly so uh, as we went ahead with all the transactions basically all the steps which we performed in the test case uh, it has created all the different uh, transactions inside different folders okay so there is a particular flow to this also uh, you can click on this particular uh, web page okay so these are the pages and inside these pages then you will have um, all the request type right uh, definition so it was a get method uh, the url the server the path uh, any request parameters okay so all of these details can be viewed here also uh, in the pages you can see a preview of uh, your application where you were in that particular transaction right so um, all of these details are present here okay and uh, then uh, we can do a lot of other things but this is uh, the basic way of designing your first test case uh, your first performance test case in new load controller okay so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today do tune into our channel to watch more videos on Trascentis New Load and other automation tools like Trascentis Tosca, Postman, Selenium. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any new videos which we post on a regular basis. Thanks for watching this video. 
and until uh, the next video keep watching and keep learning